What type of Fortnite player are you? Let's find out, starting with the skin collector, because this is that one player who literally has almost every skin that Fortnite's ever dropped, including exclusive skins and rare skins, and the only thing they keep up with is skins. But let's hope the skin beggar doesn't find out about the skin collectors, because these are the types of players who are always begging and asking everyone they play with for something from the item shop. And no joke, these players will actually get mad if you don't gift them something. But at least the skin collector isn't as bad as the fighter, because this is that one player who always wants to 1v1 or wager against someone after they get eliminated. And I don't know why, it's just like they can't take their L. Plus, it's 10 times worse in creative. But the creative warriors usually don't care too much about these types of players, since this is the player who plays nothing but creative 24-7, and there's a good chance you can't beat a creative warrior in creative, but they're usually pretty easy to beat in a public match. Although I don't think you'd want to run into a Fortnite pro whenever you're playing a public match. Although, wait a second, you probably won't see a real Fortnite pro in your match since these players only play tournaments and arena. And they're not just in any division of arena, because these are the players that have over 100,000 arena points. But someone I bet you'd have a huge chance of running into would be a fake tryhard. I'm sure we all run into these types of players daily, because these are the ones you'll see with the sweatiest combos in the game, but whenever you go over to fight them, they're basically free eliminations. And I hope you don't run into a combination of the fake tryhard and toxic lord. But speaking of the Toxic Lord, this is the player who everyone hates to get eliminated by. Because whenever they eliminate you, trust me, they're gonna do some type of emoting. Like, it was a lucky kill, bro. Go to your take the L somewhere else. But good thing they're not on your team, unlike the disrespectful player. Because this is that one teammate who always rages and tries to bully almost everyone they play with. And if everything doesn't go their way, well, they're going to straight up disrespect you. Then if you're the low ping player, I'll tell you how you can fix that. But first, let's look at the loners. Since these are the ones who never play with groups of people, since 90% of the time, they're playing solos or something like that. Then if they do play with someone, it's only gonna be like one or two different people that they've known for a very long time. And these players almost remind me of the inconsistent players. Since these are the players who only hop on Fortnite about once every five to six months and just play for a few days, then go months without playing again. But you also have the players who return on big events. Because the only time these people will start playing the game again is if something big is happening, such as a huge live event or a big update. I bet we all know that one friend who started playing Fortnite again because of Chapter 3. And if you're this type of player, you should talk with the storyteller, since this is the player who watches every single storyline video about Fortnite and knows every little detail about the lore. They also will only use skins that have something to do with the storyline. But we all know the role player cares nothing about the storyline, since this is the player who's always in creative doing some type of role play or funny game mode with their friends. And these types of players usually hate running into sweats. And I wonder if you'd even be welcome to play with the role players if you're the one with a loud background. Because I know that very often there's nothing they can really do about it, but it can also be very annoying. Especially when these players have tons of people or ear-splitting music in the background. Then I bet the Sabotager would do whatever it takes to eliminate the one with the loud background. Because this is the teammate who will do whatever it takes to eliminate someone else on the team. And I don't get why, to be honest. But they exist. I also don't understand how the excuse maker can make up an excuse in under a second, so consistently. Because, well, these are the ones on the team who never take the blame for anything. It's either, oh, they were lagging, or, oh, they got one shot, so unfair, Ugh. But I wouldn't really care if the Fortnite noob had an excuse when they died, since, well, these are the players who don't really care about being sweaty, they only play the game to have fun when they're bored then the noobs can relate to the storm victims, since both players are always dying to storm damage. But if you're a storm victim specifically, you're the player who never backs down from a fight no matter how far the zone is. And I bet you die in the storm 80% of the time. And it doesn't even matter if the AFK player dies in the storm or not, since this is the player who always leaves to do something else, no matter the situation. Like, they might straight up go take out the trash in the middle of the FNCS. <laughs> And the Trick Shotter probably dreams of running into the AFK player at the end of the game to hit an insane shot. Then if you didn't know, the Trick Shotter is that one player who is always trying to hit some crazy shots for their montages. Then the Trick Shotter's worst nightmare has to be running into an overbuilder. 
Better yet, that's kind of everyone's biggest fear. Since these players won't stop building until well, they run out of materials or you both die from fall damage. But a tip to stop the overbuilder is to spam, just like the spammers. And these are the players who, whenever you're fighting, will only spam you. And if you are a spammer, I bet your favorite gun is the Stinger SMG. And I think I might be the unlucky player, since I'm always getting eliminated by the spammers. But these are the players who have the worst luck out of everyone. It's basically like they're playing with a black cloud over their heads. Then you could probably call the bad ping player unlucky as well, since, well, their internet is really bad. I mean, these players could be good, but whenever action takes place, their ping just shoots up to 500. And downloading a new update is this type of player's worst nightmare. Though if you are a low ping player, you could use an ethernet cable to improve your ping. That should get you consistent results. And I know we all hate playing with the liar, because this is the player who always claims everyone is one shot or they don't have any materials, but the whole time none of the stuff they say is true. Then everyone knows that one multitasker. This is the player who's never fully focused on Fortnite because they're also eating, listening to music, watching a video in the middle of the game, solving a mathematical equation all at the same time. Definitely can get pretty annoying. Like just play solo or solo squads if you do that. Then speaking of solos, the solo squad player is the player who always leaves their team and plays as a solo. The only time these people will talk to their team is when they're about to get eliminated. And I know I'm not the only one who enjoys watching a spectator show off. Then these are the players who only show off whenever they see that they've got someone spectating them. Because they'll legit do every retake they know just to show off. But it's not fun watching a hacker that's a spectator show off. Then if you are a hacker, I'd advise you to stop so you don't get banned forever. Plus, you ruin the game for other people, so please seriously stop. And the teamers should stop as well. Because these are the players who always team up with their enemies in solos, so it's easier for them to get wins. Just join a clan and play duos. But speaking of clans, I know there's a clan hopper or two watching this video. And this is the player who always joins sweaty clans almost every three weeks then they most likely change their epic IDs a ton as well. And the famous player is the one who has thousands of people added on their friends list. And they'll never play the game with the same set of people, since half of their friends list spams them with invites because of how good they are. And you don't see many level grinders, since these players' main goal is to unlock every single item they're able to unlock. Plus, these are the players who only play public matches, and their main focus is completing their challenges. Then the Clutch God is the type of player we all love playing with and spectating, because it's like these players know how to get you out of any sticky situation, no matter what it is. And you can always count on this player to get the win. The same applies to the 200 IQ player, since these players are so smart. This is the player who'll pull off some crazy play or move that you've never even seen before. And they can embarrass almost anyone. Then we need the 200 IQ players to stop the griefers. The griefer is the one who does everything possible to make sure they eliminate you. Like, they legit don't care if they have to chase you around the map for 30 minutes. They just ain't leaving until they eliminate you. And one of the worst types of players to run into is the scammer. Because this player only plays the game to find victims to scam out of skins and V-Bucks, which isn't cool. But the subscribe button is cool, so we'll click that thing right now.